Look at this. I'm playing a PSP game on my computer. So, I know what you're asking. What emulator am I using? Well, I'm not using an emulator at all. I'm using a thing that lets you see your PSP screen on your computer. And today I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download this thing called Remote Joy Lite. This is version 0.19. And this is a RAR file, so you'll need WinRAR for this, if you haven't already got it. You can get the trial version, that will work just fine. So, right click on it and just select Extract to Remote Joy, blah blah blah, you know. And you'll get this new folder come up, and inside it there'll be another folder. So, open that, and you'll see there's three new folders. We've got Drivers, there's SE Plugins, and GUI, which is the actual program. So, open the SC Plugins folder. You'll see there's five files. So now, connect your PSP to the computer with the USB. And go into USB mode, or USB connection. So, the PSP is now in USB mode. And you'll get this thing come up. So I'll just say, open folder to view files. Now, go to the folder that says SC Plugins, in the PSP's memory stick. We'll just move that out there so it's out of the way. Now, if you already have a text file in your SE Plugins folder, and you also have the same name text file in, in this folder, and what you want to do is go into the text file that's in your PSP and open it. I've got two folders called Game Text, and you want to copy this. Copy this text. Just highlight it and press Ctrl C. Then you can close that. And you want to add that text into this text file. So just open it and add it. Press Ctrl V. Then you can close it and save it. So just say yes. Of course, if there are no text files in here that have the same name, you can just go straight ahead and copy the files. And of course, you can do that if there are no files in the SE Plugins folder. So just highlight all those files and copy them in there. And if this comes up saying, do you want to replace the file, just say yes and there it is now what if you don't have an SE plugins folder well that's very simple let's just um, let's just assume this folder doesn't exist right now what you want to do is if you don't have this folder right click remember this is in the PSP's memory card then just go to new folder and then you can rename it and then you'll have the folder but I don't need to do that because I've already got that folder, so I'll just get rid of that. Now, we've got to enable those plugins on the PSP. Now, to do that, first of all, make sure your PC, um, PSP is completely turned off. And then when you turn it on, hold the right shoulder button down and turn the PSP on. And it should take you to this recovery menu. Now, if you go down to where it says plugins, it's a little bit difficult to see on my PSP because my screen is a bit messed up, but this won't mess up your screen, but this has been like this for a while. You should see that there are three plugins labeled Remote Joy. There's one labeled Remote Joy VSH, I mean VSH, one labeled Game and one Pops. I don't know how you can see that. Um, ignore this Fusa plugin, that's the previous plugin I was using for something else, so I'll disable that. So you want to enable these three Remote Joy plugins. So, oh, I don't know how, how, how well you can see this, so we'll just enable those. Just highlight them and press X to enable or disable them. And there we go. You can now go on to back and exit. And the PSP should start up. And it's now ready to communicate with the computer. Now with those plugins enabled, the PSP will now be able to communicate with the computer 
and every time you plug your PSP into the computer, it will automatically connect. And the first time you do this, you'll get the new hardware wizard come up. So this is where you install the drivers so the computer can talk to the PSP. So you select no, not this time, in the found new hardware wizard. That comes up. Click on next. And then you want to, get to select install from a list or specific location and then click next. And this bit you want to select don't search. I will choose the driver to install. And then next again. And then make sure you've got show all devices highlighted, which it already is. And then select next. This can take a little time. This can take up to a couple of minutes, so just be patient and wait. It, it will appear, you just have to wait for a little bit. Okay, so it's a couple of minutes later now, and it's finally loaded. Now, you just select Have Disk. So, you want to click Browse, and then we go to where the INF file is. In this case, it's on the desktop. In the Remote Joy folder. In the Drivers folder, that's in the Remote Joy Lite folder. So, we just go to Drivers. Now, if you're running 32-bit Windows, you want to select USB driver. If you're on 64-bit Windows, you want to use USB driver x64, but I'm on 32-bit Windows, so that's the one I'm going to select. And just click on this file that says psp.inf, and then OK. And as you can see, PSP type B has shown up there. Then click Next, and off it goes. So it is now ready. So now you've done that, they should both be able to communicate with each other, and we can run the program that lets you see your PSP display on your computer screen. So, let's run that. I'll just put it in the middle of the screen here. When you connect the PSP, as you can see, the PSP's display is now showing on the computer. Now, the only problem is, when you have your PSP connected to your computer, with the plugins enabled so you can see your PSP screen on the computer, you won't be able to run any games from the discs. Because if you try to run the game, the PSP crashes when it tries to access the disc. I don't know why it does it, but there's a way around this. And what we need to do is put the game onto the memory stick. Now, firstly, you're going to want to copy the game onto your computer. It is possible to use the PSP as an external disk drive and copy the UMD onto your computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. You press select on the PSP and this little menu should come up. And where it says UMD ISO mode, no, sorry, where it says USB device, you highlight that. And with the D-pad, keep going until it says UMD disk. And then press exit. Now, the next thing you've got to do is disable the Remote Joy plugins because with the Remote Joy plugins enabled, you won't be able to access the UMD. So, say, disable those. So, now you've done that and disabled the Remote Joy plugins. Now, when we go into USB mode, which I'm just doing right now, you'll see that the PSP's UMD disk appears as an ISO file. And you can drag that onto your computer. I'm going to put that on the desktop. This will take a few minutes depending on the size of it, but the computer is reading the UMD disk that's in the PSP. Okay, that's almost done now. And there it is. So now that's on the computer, we can take the disk out of the PSP. And come out of USB mode. So I'll just put that down there so I don't lose it. And now, with the disk out, when we go back into USB connection, we can access the memory stick again. And you can rename this file if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as UMD9660. And you put that into the folder that's called ISO. And again, if you don't have an ISO folder, you can create one. I've already put a game in there, so I'm not going to do it. But what you would do is open the folder, then just drag the file in, and there you go. As you can see, I've already put worms in there. Now, how to run it. So here we are back in the PSP, and I've enabled those plugins again so I can record this. Now, if we go into game and go to memory stick, you see, there is the game that I just put onto the memory stick. Worms. Now, it might not run. If you try to run it, you might get an error message. As you can see, it says the game could not be started, but fear not, there's a way around this as well. Just press select again, and this time, go to UMD ISO mode and select M33 driver, then go to exit, and this time when you run the game,
you'll see that it runs absolutely fine. And there we go, loading up. And that is how it is done. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to have a game of worms. 